Oh, go on, I'll rest you. Oh, 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 oh. No new look for our sister. Still, better 600 years out of date than six. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Right, Nurse Franklin. Present and correct. There is nothing whatever correct about this, Nurse Franklin. Oh. What is it? I would rather you didn't look, Sister Julianne, but I'm happy to spell out the headlines for you. Keeping fit, exclamation mark. Poplar midwives take care of all aspects of health. Two photographs of Nurse Gilbert and Nurse Mount in their new uniforms, and then two photographs of all of them cavorting in their combinations. Those aren't combinations, sister. They're called leotards. Oh, Trixie. We aren't in the paper in on leotards. I'm afraid you are, Nurse Gilbert. Showing every outline that God gave you. If God gave us those outlines, sister, then I'm sure he won't object to them being on display. But, Nurse Franklin, I'm very much afraid we do. Here we have the Marlowe's product. As you can see, the tin is a very convenient size for the kitchen. Now, Marlowe's are the first company to create a whey-based formula. Um, What's all this? You have as well. An they exercise on behalf of Marlowe's baby formula. A photograph and free tin of formula for each baby. They're American. It's public relations. Propaganda, more like. So much easier for baby to digest and enriched with vitamins. Some doctors say formula can make baby more intelligent, more attractive. Can you really afford not to try it? Doesn't baby deserve the best? Baby has the best, and it's free, the breast. This is nonsense. Nonsense? Offering mothers choice. Healthy mothers don't need choice. Well, maybe she wants to go back to work. Maybe she wants her shape back. It's just shillings and pence to you, isn't it? You're all charlatans. Perhaps we should get on with clinic. You have Mrs. Manley. Oh, come on, Connie. You can tear yourself away from Professor Flimflam here. Uh, cup of tea. Nurse Cray. A distressed gentleman wishes to speak with you. I beg your pardon? Uh, Mr. Smith. Oh. Um, tell him I'm not at home. He awaits you in the front hall. I don't wish to see him. And I do not like greens, yet they are very good for me. Pass me that plant, please. The yellow one. Hurry, there is much to do. I don't think these are for planting, Sister Monica Joan. I think these may be weeds that Fred's already pulled up. I do not believe in weeds. Look at that glorious colour. A weed is simply a flower that someone decides is in the wrong place. Why should the Taraxicum struggle in the cracks? It deserves an efficacious spot in which to flourish. Mrs. Gillespie asked me to climb on her toilet roof to get her cat down. When you have a paper round, helping old ladies becomes an occupational hazard. Go home and comb your hair. Your tie and biscuit money are on the sideboard. I bought Dad's Lancet. Unless you're too busy to read it today, I could take it and read it on the bus. No, leave it here. I shall expect a tip at Christmas. <coughs> you even missed my shoes. He got mine, though. Ta-da! Hot off the press. Is that the health report? I feel a drum roll is in order. Well, shall we see how we fared? 
I thought it might at least be the new James Bond novel. Far more exciting. Patrick Turner, GP, licensed to practice medicine, and secret agent Sheila Turnova, save Poplar from ill health and disease. <laughs> Very slowly, straighten up. Oh! Ah! Ow! It's a nasty spasm in your back. We'll need something flat and strong, ideally a door. Can't you just give us some pills? To go under the mattress. We need to keep the back supported. Now, rest and aspirin. And perhaps some menthol artem ointment, when the pain has subsided a little. <laughs> what kind of door? Any door. Handle on or off? <laughs> Mrs. Bucker will be lying on it, not opening it, Fred. Not my bathroom door. We may be married, but I do still have my dignity. Ooh. So rest overnight then, Doctor. Mrs. Buckle, you will need to rest for a week. Perhaps two. A back spasm is a warning shot. We ignore it at our peril. But I've got the shop. And it must wait. Oh. I have to admit it's a lot more rewarding than male surgical. I have always assumed the results of the male organ to be more rewarding than the organ itself. So, Nurse Busby, we could not wish for a more trusted reserve. Nurse, Nurse, Busby. Nurse Busby. Doctor, whatever is this? Cornish pasty. Or more precisely, half of one. Now, would it have killed you to sit down for five minutes and eat the whole thing? Sheila, I can get the tenth or the children in the car, but not both. May I refer you to my earlier offer to loan you my roof rack, which you declined? You may. I left it out for you in the hall at Nunata's house. Buenas vacaciones. Thank you. I keep wanting to revert my eyes, but they're just too compelling. I think shorts are a very practical choice for a camping holiday. I'm not amusing in any way at all. <laughs> Well, I'm not looking. <laughs> really, I'm not. You could launch this car like a Sputnik, and this roof rack would not budge an inch. Uh, Patrick, we need to get going. It's already starting to rain. Fair not, Mrs T. Nurse Gilbert is on the case. W what is it? I thought it might help keep the things on the roof rack dry. It's an incontinence sheet from the charity box. Perfect. <laughs> I hope it doesn't smell of urine. Oh, by the way, Doc, I like the shorts. I had a pair like that in El Alamo. I had a pair in Monte Cassino. <laughs> no wonder we won the war. <laughs> Room service. Oh, I put a nip of scotch in from my handy secret hip <laughs> flask. <laughs> you wouldn't get that in the Ritz. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, at last. My knees are freezing. <laughs> Patrick. No, no, no. We're on our holidays. It doesn't matter. But your sleeping bag's soaking wet. At least it's warm wet. <laughs> what are you thinking about? The children. Do you suppose they'll be all right in their own tent? <laughs> of course they will. They're only about five feet away. What if it falls down again? It won't. I promise you. What are you thinking about? The Elsa Clinic. There's a couple of really nasty chronic venous cases that aren't responding to the new regime. Hey. Sorry. But I'm just not sure about Godfrey. General practice is a young man's game. You're not supposed to be thinking about work. And if you don't mind my saying so, you're not exactly Cliff Richard yourself. <laughs> I could sing a chorus of Summer Holiday if you'd like me to. Mum, Dad, can we come in with you? What if it falls down again? It won't. I promise you. Mum? Where's Angela? She's down here, but she's seen a squirrel and she won't stop crying. Oh, I knew this would happen. She's petrified of squirrels. She doesn't even like squirrel knocking, and he's only a picture in a book. It's all right, darling. Mummy's coming. 
I spy with my little eye something beginning with TF. Tent flap, although the correct term is actually the Beckett. Is it? Your turn. And no animals beginning with S, please, because we've just got Angela settled. I spy with my little eye something beginning with B H I R O T R S T C I. Bullet holes in ridge of tent. Rain starting to come in. Ten out of ten. Your turn. I spy with my little eye something beginning with R N H I S O T W. G P W B I T F T R O T W. What? A rather nice hotel I spotted on the way here. Get packed. We're booking in there for the rest of the week. <laughs> Sheila. So much for getting back to nature. <laughs> There are flowers on the table and feathers in these pillows. That is all the nature I need to get back to. The children haven't come knocking. I suppose they're sleeping well. Either that or they've been mauled to death by squirrels. <laughs> However, whilst there is nothing in Anglican teaching to forbid birth control, the church does take a view on matters of morality. As Mrs. Turner, at least, will be aware. Well, of course. Have a lemon puff. Is there anything plainer? I have some arrowroot biscuits. I'll pop and fetch them. Oh, Tom. People will be home soon. True. Oh, no. Oh, Tom. What? The wall's covered in brill cream from your head. No. Oh, it's not coming off. Oh, I'm just making it more shiny. Well, you'll have to say you tripped up with the butter dish. Harrywood, what a nice surprise. You must have come to join us for Compline. Yes, I have. Indeed. Good grief. Where did that stain on the wallpaper come from? What stain? Oh, dear. I do hope it isn't another patch of damp. Sister Julianne's worried the building's getting wet raw. Oh, perhaps it's just an optical illusion. This isn't moisture. It's grease. I surmise a manifestation from another realm. Spirits have been known to talk through the approbation of strange substances. Oh, whatever it is, it's strange enough. It smells rather masculine to me. Masculine? Hmm. So what it's doing six feet up the wall is anybody's guess. <laughs> Listen, I've spent quite enough afternoons in family planning clinics Rolling sheaths onto a wooden... Oh, excuse me, sister, may I say penis? By all means. Wooden penis. Trying to convince mothers of five or six children that barrier methods are the way ahead. Time and again, you get the same response. My Eddie won't. My Ted can't. My Billy says it's like going for a paddle with your socks on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one cable running into the delivery room. There's a mother who still needs stitches. And we need a working light in the ward. Doctor, Mrs Mansell's baby's crowning. Some people have parents who do ordinary jobs. Get cranking the handle. Sooner then than me. Fred! This front tyre is as soft as butter. I told you last week, yesterday, and I'm telling you now. Well, I keep pumping it up. I don't know what's about it. How about something beginning with P and ending in Uncture? Sister Evangelina, uh, 
I can't stand here lecturing you in rudimentary engineering. Nurse Gilbert has a patient waiting. Meanwhile, I shall have to sneak some surgical spirit from supplies, or else blisters will beckon. Oh! What? Spider! Ah! It's because a while as nobody looks to be heading this way, I'm speaking! Ah! Dead. Was it poisonous? I can't tell. But it's crushed to a pulp. I can tell that. I'd give your shoe a rinse. It may have some venom on it. Or some backbone. I'm awfully sorry, but has anybody got anything for sunburn? I think my forehead's starting to blister. Oh, surely it wasn't that hot. No, but, um, underneath all of this, I'm a redhead. Your eyebrows have given rise to speculation. I've got some Pond's cold cream. In a minute, Barbara. Concentrate on your smoking for a moment. You need to exhale through your nose before you open your mouth again. <laughs> God, I just wave it around and frighten off the mosquitoes that way. Right, we'll be starting by dismantling the current water pipe and clearing the tubes of any clay residue. Then we'll relay the pipes all the way from the new clean spring to the Hope Clinic. Everyone working will be paid a daily wage. If you have any difficulties, you're to come to me, Mr. Buckle, or Mr. Muzangulu, who's been appointed foreman. Right. Yeah. 